Hey, hi guys, welcome to PCF. Uh, this is Srinivas Pujari. So, uh, in our previous videos, we have discussed okay, what is current day sales and previous day sales, and then current month and previous month, month over month, quarter over quarter, and then year over year sales, and then percentage growth we have discussed. For that, uh, we have a not time intelligence functions for that, so we can use the time intelligence and then we can, uh, you know, uh, create a um, you know, current and previous. Okay, there is a direct to previous function we have the previous day, previous quarter, previous month, and the previous year. So we have that functions, but for the week, okay, for the week we don't have any, you know, kind of uh, such a functions. Okay, for that, uh, so uh, so how we can find the current week and then previous week and then week over week and all, we'll see now. Okay, in this video we are going to discuss that, and also I am going to also discuss about the previous year week. Okay, not only this current week and previous week. Also, suppose uh, we are in the, so suppose we are in the uh, 20th week, 20 week. Uh, so what is the last year 20th week sales amount? And suppose we are in the ninth week of this year. And then what is the last week of ninth year? So 22 ninth week, this is the amount. And then what is the, um, you know, uh, 2021 ninth, ninth week amount? Okay, that is also I'm going to give you okay so for that i have connected with the you no know, adventure work dw dim date and then uh fact internet sales uh, if you are not sure like how to connect and all so i have um in, uh, in our previous video current date and previous sales amount so i have explained very clearly how to connect the you know adventure works dw uh, so you can go and then uh, see that and also um uh, uh, how to you know uh, install SQL Server and attach the Advanced Work DW also I have explained very clearly. So for now, so if you want a current sales, we have to go with the you know sum of sales amount. So I am going with that. So total sales is equal to sum of sales amount. Okay, uh, I am going to go with the sum of sales amount. That, that will give the you no know, current week. Okay, when you select the week, it will give the week, and when you select the month, and it will give the month wise. So for that, I'm going with the week number. So, so, so in a year, we will have the 53 weeks, right? So if 53 weeks in the 53 weeks, so, so it's already, so it's doing the sum. So I don't want to summarize. So in the 53 weeks we have, so in 53 weeks, okay. So what is the sales amount for each week wise? It will give the total sales amount. So each week wise, when you select the total sales amount, it will give the each week wise total sales amount okay but here i have a multiple years okay almost to six seven years of data i have so for that to filter only the for this year so you will go with the you know calendar year so just select the calendar year as a slicer and then we'll go with the only uh, you know specific year so let's go i don't want to be you know uh, between i want to go with the you know uh, list actually so just go with the list okay so it will give the list and then okay so now i want to select only with the 2013 so this will give the 30 now okay so now so what we'll do okay what we'll do so we'll go with the so previous week sales amount okay we have to calculate the previous week sales amount right so just go here and then click on new measure so this time we'll calculate a previous year, uh, previous week, sorry, previous week sales amount. Just to, P means previous, W means week. Okay, just to go with the previous week and then calculate sum of. So sum of sales amount we already calculated. So we can go with the total sales and then comma and then shift enter, shift enter. So I'm going with the new line. Just a moment. Going with the new line, so that is like you uh, know, um, so go with the week, week number of year is equal to selected value of year, okay? Selected value of you know, uh, week number year, okay? Week number year, so it will give uh, if you go with the minus one, okay? If you go with the minus one, uh, so it will go with the previous week. Okay, so when you add a minus one, it will go with the previous week. Hope you are getting right. So when the you know the week number is minus one, then you can do the sum of sales amount. 
but the thing is so if you so if, when you, you know go with this measure this measure will give okay this measure will give uh, you know um, total years uh, no total weeks sales amount total so how many years we have how many years of uh, data we have that many years of total sales amount it will give so if you want only a specific year you want then you can go with the you know uh, calendar year calendar year equal to selected okay whatever the year you select that selected year only it will give okay so calendar year and then close then we can write ambassador okay so when these two conditions met okay current year selected year and then selected year weeks okay whatever the year you select those selected years values only it will give okay so this will give the calculate the previous year amount just okay just press enter so it will give the previous week sales amount okay let's go and then select the pw so that is the our you know previous week sales amount okay click aside and then see see this is the current year and this is the previous year and this is the previous year okay this is the previous year so always it's giving the previous year sales amount right see okay so this way we can find out the previous year now the variance you know the difference and variance right okay variance means current minus previous we can do and that way we can get uh, variance okay if you want a variance okay see the previous videos okay just total minus uh, this one the variance uh, so let's see that okay even we can do the variance also so week over week over week w o w means week over week so total sales amount minus tw okay that is the variance okay week over week just type enter and then go with the w over w okay w over so week over week just it will give the week over week sales amount just uh, drag this you know uh, slice all aside and then see this will give the variance okay so this will give the variance uh, if you want you know you can uh, decrease like this okay if you want you can decrease like this also but so this keep like this one not a problem okay we will decrease the you know, image uh, slicer okay so i'm not going with the formatting kind of things guys okay here we are mainly focusing on the week over week sales okay so week over week just sorry we came down what happened okay so this way we can go and then week over week we can get that okay if you want to do minus you can do it minus and then it will get that so my variance okay so percentage growth okay what is the uh, formula for the percentage growth guys okay percentage growth variance divided by the previous year into 100 okay that is the formula okay for variance what is the formula variance what is the formula means okay so sorry oh, growth percentage growth okay if you want a percentage growth okay so percentage growth equal to uh, current minus previous current minus previous okay current minus let me write in notepad so that you will understand okay the formula okay that is the formula guys okay we, whenever you want a percentage growth so you should go with the like this formula so, so that may be year or quarter or month or anything okay so whenever you want a percentage growth so this is the formula so growth equal to current minus previous i'm right i'm writing general guys so this one open bracket and then close bracket divided by the previous okay divided by the previous previous into 100 okay this is the percentage growth case okay this is the percentage growth. this is the formula for the percentage growth okay the same thing we are going to implement so hope you understand okay that is the formula so go with the percentage okay week growth week over week week over week percentage growth 
okay so week over week percentage growth so you can go and then select this and then equal to so already we have a current minus previous week over week is there so just you can select that measure and then so instead of i always recommend to use the divide function instead of divide operator okay so why because divide operator uh, will not handle the infinity values so go with the uh, you know divide function so here divide function numerator comma denominator okay our denominator is pre, uh, previous uh, week values and then if you want if you get a wherever you get infinity values i don't want infinity values i just want to replace infinity values with the zero so that's the way we can go that and then uh, so into 100 then click okay okay so now you can go and then see select this one percentage growth so it will give the percentage growth see okay so when I, so i have only you know 2014 i have only eight weeks of data so you can see the i eight weeks if you want you can take a screenshot and then whether it is giving the per correct percentage or not you can even you can cross verify okay so this is the way we can go with the week over week and uh, um, percentage growth also previous week and then percentage growth so i want to show you again uh, you know so previous week so previous year okay if you want to go with the previous year just uh, simply you can go with the you know so just go with the whatever the previous week what data is there right so just go with the previous week so let's take uh, first of all we will you know go with the uh, full date key so not full date key uh, week number right so that is our week number so just select the week number so whether it is giving the previous year week or not we we'll see okay just a week number and then total sales amount if you want a previous year uh, week okay so it's giving it's doing the summarization so i don't want to summarize so and then also it's giving the total of total years first week total year second week total year third week but i don't want to total years i want to only filter um, you know uh, 2014 data just go here and select the calendar year okay, calendar year so just go here and then calendar year and then go with the slicer and i don't want to be you know um, list, uh, this slicer just go with this list okay so i want to go with the only 2014 okay so if you want to know previous year okay previous year first week what is the sales amount i want to you know see that so then you can go with the so same formula only so whatever the previous week we have written the same formula only instead of doing minus one for the week so we'll go with the minus year week okay minus one for the previous week let's i'm taking the total uh you know uh same measure only so but i will change quietly um, so i will change something you now at a year level so just you can go with this and then uh you know do the minus one and then close okay so and then remove this one okay so but and then close bracket okay so it will you know do the previous year okay it will always do the minus one minus one means it's not checking for the current year okay so whatever the year you select it will go to the previous year so that's the reason so i went for the minus one okay and then now select this uh, pw pyw so pyw select that uh, into this uh, you know this uh, table so let's select that this table and see so in so we are selected 2014 right so in 2013 first week what is the sales amount so 91058 okay whether uh, it's giving the 91 so first week go here uh, so what is the first week just check the 2013 so first week sales amount okay this is the first week sales amount this is the second week sales amount and then this is the third week so whether it is giving correct or not okay so let's see see it's giving correct one nine one nine one zero so that is the previous week okay last year first week sales amount last year first week sales amount so here i have selected 2013 uh in this page i have selected 2014 okay okay is everyone clear right so
See here, I have selected 2014. So this is giving the 2014. This is the previous year week, first week sales amount, second week sales amount. Previous year means we have selected 2013. So the previous year means 2000. So 2014 we have selected, sorry. So, but previous year means 2013, it will give, it's giving. Okay, that way we can do. Hope you know, understand that. Okay. Thank you guys. Um, uh, thank you for your, you know. So if you like the video, please, uh, you know, uh, hit the, uh, okay, to encourage me. So uh, like the video and uh, subscribe my channel if you watch the first time and then share video for the more people. Okay, I will, I'm going to give a, you know, um, so daily one video I'm giving. So I will give tips and then calculations and whatever the things, okay. So for more videos, okay. So I will give a video, guys. Okay, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.